What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release on YouTube. I do Fixed Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast, and I stream on Twitch as often as I can. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. Today, we are playing in the inaugural Assassin Tournament. The idea behind the tournament, uh, brainchild of Brutal Pipe, we will be playing a six-player game, the winner advances, a five-player game, the winner advances, a four-player game, the winner advances. The way you win the game is you have to kill your target. Settings have been assigned randomly. Players have been assigned their targets randomly. Whoever kills their target first will win in advance, and then we will go to the second game, and then we will go to the third game. Wish me luck, ladies and gentlemen, I'm in the final position. Settings for the first game are EU Advanced World Domination, Auto Setup 60 Second Turns, Expert AI, and we don't have any progressive cards. Balance Blitz Dice with Alliance, Fog, and Blizzards off. And I'm in the final position in position number one. We've mostly harmless top 100 Grandmaster and Discord mod. Flying the flag of Germany, 1,254 hours played with 740 to 390 win to loss on this account. In position two, we have Athul Sriraj, flying the flag of India. I've played Athul a couple of times, but do not know them well. 183 hours played with 97 and 135. In position three, we have I Suck at Risk, uh, formerly known as Spike Omega, reached number one worldwide, Discord support, all around excellent risk player, 63 hours on this account, and 202 and 23. Even on a little... Suck at risk account. Spike is a 90% win rate. In position four, we have Sterling Fortune 27 flying the flag of the United Kingdom. Sterling is a top 10 grandmaster, free for all tournament champion, 1v1 tournament champion, Discord mod, 1,008 hours played on this account, and 15, 33 wins, and 279 losses. In position five, we have Aneurysm 24 7. Still hurts. Also, from the United Kingdom, 207 hours played with 79 and 20. And Aneurysm is a great player and a friend of mine. And finally, rounding out myself, this is the main Pete account, Kill Pete Strategy VCC, 1678 hours played with 1805 wins and 668 losses. I have, I have a reasonable France play, but that leaves me in one fucking place right off the bat. Ooh, 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 I don't like it. We're going to do a three-point France guard and leave one of the fronts open. All right, I missed a bunch of chat. I'm sorry, we can catch up. Also, i got to move the text box in the video because it's blocking my face. All right, let's do that. My arm can be right into the middle of the Iberian Peninsula. That works visually. Okay, so we got a bunch of... we got 69 bits. Thank you, John. It's a magic number, isn't it? Terra Arctic. Hi, Pete. Started watching a lot of YouTube stuff recently. Cool to see the intro live, isn't it? <laughs> Is your name Stop Kill Pete? No, I don't think so. Is there a key? If I did, it's more entertaining not to say anything about it. does not want to go to the third round. Oh, you're talking about the alts from, from the previous tournament? Well, um, there have been circumstances that have arisen such that it doesn't look like we have to worry about alts in tournaments anymore. So how lovely is that? Okay, so we're going to be playing a bad neighbor version of EU Advanced Except Harmless gets to hold his bonus. Interesting, interesting. Text over the big Russia territory. Is that better? 
Well, it looks like Harmless has his goals to kill me. That seems... No, that, that doesn't make... This actually works a lot better, because this is more open. Um, <clears throat> is your cat on the mug? This is um, our late cat. This is uh, Mr. Fish. Mr. Fish lived to be 21 years old. So we got a bunch of shots of him on the fish mug. <laughs> look, I'm already at 16 troops. Doesn't look like I'm going to win this game. Alts will not be accepted anymore. No, I, I've, I've made a very aggressive push to eliminate alts from competition in tournaments because I think they are incredibly toxic in ways that people don't realize. Um, playing under an alt um, allows you to screw with people, um, particularly in a free-for-all context, right? Not play to win, um, all sorts of things that I think are, are really unfun and really bad long-term strategies when you're interested in building a uh, gaming community of, of like-minded people who just want to hang out and enjoy themselves. So, <clears throat> okay. Bottom left works best. Talking about penis waffles again. Your cat was injured. Yeah, when when fish died, um, we got Reggie as a baby. So Reggie's now five. He's my buddy. Okay. Now someone's going to have to stop me. I don't know. Maybe aneurysm has 14. Yeah, harmless is going to break. Yep. There you go. This is a cool format, right? It's like a very aggressive version. Also, Harmless having bad dice twice now, failing to double break. Pretty clear he has me as a target. <laughs> Pretty clear he has me as a target. So if I kill him, that means that I will be the target of not only the person who has me as a target, but the person who had him as the target. But then again, if I kill him and he's my target, I, I'm still only... I, I only net one assassin. It's interesting to think about. It's a great accomplishment for a cat to live that long. Yeah, yeah, we took really good care of him. 21 years was a great score. And he was, like, he was happy and living his life pretty much the whole time. Um, what's up, Red Edge? So we'll be back. All right, man. Your target is blue, I'm calling it. Juicy Cookie is predicting... And my target is Sterling Fortune 27. Which a good assassin can neither confirm or deny. Aneurysm going to break me too. Oh no. Aneurysm goes the other way. Okay. I'm now 24 troops holding 20 territories and two bonuses. I don't actually expect to hold either of my bonuses again. We go to sets. Harmless sets and gets the four. He's going to double break me. Good. Harmless is clearly my assassin. I have to kill this guy. If I kill this guy, I become the target of whoever has to kill Harmless. So I think that is the correct strategy at this point, seeing as how... Um, he has relentlessly pre or prevented or attempted to prevent me from gaining advantage. Um, we also have the aneurysm getting really strong. I'm actually worried that aneurysm is very close to winning the game, just based on this situation. All right, Spike gets nine. Where does it go? I think, yeah, I think someone has to break aneurysm. 
Or else he'll just have too many troops. Right? Balance is an interesting thing when everyone's trying to kill everyone, but you don't know who's trying to kill who. Um, the concept of balance. I love this. This is a really cool take on on mode. It's the most bloodthirsty map I've ever seen. Yeah, I fucking love it. This is great. These are great settings. Maybe Harmless has to kill me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Harmless is trying to keep me down because he has to kill me. Spike now has two bonuses in different positions, which is a really good thing you want to do long term on these settings. Pete, you are definitely part of the community. I've missed during my break. Yeah, I'm glad. Thank you for uh, thank you for for coming back around, Chair. I hope you're doing well. I miss you too, obviously. And thank you, John, for the subs again, sir. Much appreciated. Anderson playing it nice and slow and careful. I love his game. Harmless has already set. So here's the problem. I know Harmless has me as a target. If I weaken Harmless too much, I feed him to whoever has to kill him. <coughs> so, how do I stop this guy from killing me, but also try and stop other people from killing him. I don't actually know that there's a solution to this problem. He's done a very effective job. I think part of my solution was to keep him in, in this spot. He's just going to slam right into me again. Yeah. Yeah. He's not doing a particularly great job of... <laughs> of, of acting or pretending like I'm not his target. I think aneurysm wins easy now, because no one's keeping him in check. Aneurysm will kill his target and win the game. That's my prediction. Um, piss in my mouth. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, kidding? Um, how much money you got? One million dollars later, yeah. He's got a lot, but I had more at the start of the week. You guys are ridiculous. This is a competition I can get behind. Okay, so Thul breaks Spike in one of his team positions. He supports content creators. He likes tips his hat. Maybe this turn. Yeah, I think I think Aneurysm has already won the game. <clears throat> Whoever's job it is to kill Aneurysm has not really kept him in check. Spike's job is to kill Harmless by the looks of it. Let's see. Yeah, Spike's job is to kill Harmless. Spike can win, too. Yeah, you see how Spike's setting himself up to kill Harmless? Harmless setting himself up to kill me. Sterling sets and gets the 10. Yo, Pete, what's up, the Rogue Raid? And we got a follow. Thank you for the follow. How are you today? Yeah. Sterling is still in four positions, looking really safe at 35 troops. Aneurysm sets in, gets the 12 on top of a 15 stack and a 9 stack. I don't know who Aneurysm's target is. My deduction tells me it's a fool. And if he doesn't get him this turn, he gets him soon. Aneurysm wins. Aneurysm wins this game. I'm, I'm very, very high confidence. Doesn't take it, sets himself up to do it. So I have a back to back set.
Okay. Let's see it. Um, waiting for Kill to become smart on PC so you can get sub emotes. GG catching Pete's live. Yeah. A fool sets in. What's that? The 20? We're at the 20? Okay, so I can have the 25. <laughs> See how this cookie crumbles. Okay, Thule is going for Spike now. Twenty three stack. breaks this game is heating up sterling it's four sets See, aneurysm has Spike as his target. He goes for the kill and fails. I can kill Spike for value, in which case I would likely become aneurysm's target. I think I take that four cards now. spend whatever remaining troops breaking aneurysm because he has become my assassin as well. So now I got two people trying to kill me. Good game, Spike. So I don't set. I'm at 63 holding 38 territories. But I'm not really all that vulnerable. I'm pretty happy with my sitch sit right now. How do I lose? So I have Angels trying to kill me. I have Harmless trying to kill me. I have to kill my target, which I haven't said yet to the chat. But it was not Spike, otherwise I would have just won the game. Holding five cards, my set will be... 35. So then I, I would deduce that Sterling maybe has aneurysm? Hover your cursor above your target and nobody will know. <laughs> Only one person knows who has to kill who. Yeah, I can't say, eh, Stony? It would have made for a more interesting YouTube video if I could say, but I, I, I get why. Okay, it looks like white is targeting black now. I'm so confused about what a fool is trying to do. Harmless holding five cards. Maybe I can chain kills? JT with the bits, thank you, sir. Was it 69 bits again? Okay, Sterling. Let's see if Aneurysm can kill Harmless and get the cards. Sterling goes for a break. Sensible. So 
sensible play. All right. Angels and Setson gets the 35. His target is me now. Yeah? So he's going to have to try and weaken me. I think that stack goes around the outside. I'm predicting he stacks here and goes to the right and breaks here. Let's see if I'm... No. Okay, he goes to the bottom. What's going to happen there? Okay, I lose 11 troops. And then this goes that way. <clears throat> No. Okay. I think I win. Kill Harmless, take his five cards, and set again. connects Okay, holding five cards, have a 46 stack in the middle board, holding 58 territories, 122 troops. I think I've won this game. I don't think any of these guys can kill me. But this is the situation. They all have to team me now to stop me from winning. Let's see if they do it. But none of them have cards, right? So I think I win. I think they can't team me because none of them have cards. Anerism can hit me hard. If Sterling's target is a Thule, he can maybe kill a Thule, but no, because he doesn't have cards. I win. I think I win this game. Fuck yeah. You got, you think I had a couple turns earlier? How so? How so, uh, Kilton? I, I appreciate the feedback, man. This is like my first time trying this shit, so what do you think? Yeah, Sterling breaks me a bunch. First cash, we rewatched the show. You could be wrong. You know me, I don't lean into into too risky kills. Yeah. And that's fine. That was a fine play by Sterling. Let's see what aneurysm does. There's a correct play for aneurysm, and I think it's to blitz the stack. Does someone win yet? Nope. <laughs> Not yet, Sterling. Not yet, sir. I think he runs up at my stack. I think that's correct. This fixed to prog. This is prog. Pete winning on one means you don't get two more games? Yeah. Well, I'll play. I'll do something. Okay, this is fine, too. Find one way to run around. Breaks my bonuses. But the sets are too high, right? 50 set, I win this game. That is a GG. My target is Sterling Fortune, 27.
and that's the game. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it. GG, target acquired. All right. Um, I mean, we can clean up this board. Get the W. Woo! That was thrilling. I really enjoyed it. Hope you guys did too. They did not kill Pete. No. Looked fun? Yeah, that was fun as shit, man. I really enjoyed that. I guess I'm biased, though. In the throws of victory. Clean up the map. And Bob's your uncle. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I do Fixed Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast. And I stream on Twitch as often as I can. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games, and good luck. When did Pete get the world's loudest keyboard? Dude, I love this fucking keyboard, and I don't give a shit if it's loud. It's 